model looks so good wearing it and I don't look like that. Hello guys, so today we have a Princess Polly haul and honestly I bought so much stuff so we have a fair bit to get through. First things first, obviously the elephant in the room, my cute as Audi, literally obsessed with these. They have so many different designs as well, like generally it's hard to choose which one I want because they are all so cute. So I went with the pugs, I do have a pug so I felt like I was a bit rude not to do it. I do have a little discount code as well, I have it on the screen and down below. It's Chelsea Carlaw 35 and that will get you $35 off, which is generally such a bargain. So if you do want to pick up one, I don't know where you are in the world but I'm coming into winter. These are literally the best thing ever and I promise you you'll thank me later and now let's get into the princess polly haul because i have so much to get through all right first up we have this top and these pants <laughs> hope you liked my little reveal first we have this top love the color of this absolutely love like the light pink and the red i do not think this is made for people that have slightly bigger boobs I don't think I'm that big, but I'm also not small. Anyone over what, like a D cup? I would say this is made for if you're an A, B or C. Anyone over that, it's not going to like sit where you want it to. The banding sits like almost midway and like you're still hanging underneath essentially. So it just doesn't fit properly. And this is in a 14. I'm pretty sure I got this one in a 14. I will have everything like linked down below. If not, I would have gotten a 12. I just feel like it doesn't accommodate. I feel like as the size goes up, this should then come down. I feel like if you're a size 14 in most cases, not every case, but most cases you'll probably have bigger boobs. I just feel like, because I feel like I want to pull this up a little bit higher and then it's like really, it just looks silly. Like it's just not working. It is really cute though. Like do really love the style of this. I do just think it's made for people with smaller boobs. So I did get a size 12 so maybe I needed to size up to a 14 but I still just think I would have had the same issue regardless. And then this is 55 but I got it when there was like 30% off site wide or 25% off site wide one of those sales and it was 41.25 personally I don't know if it's worth that price I do have tops similar to this from other brands that were cheaper so I just don't know if it's needed to be priced that high for like a small little top but it is cute like I do really love it then these pants I don't know how I feel about them they're that like what material are they oh what is it like satin why could I not think of that word they're satin pants I do like these. I just don't know if they're sitting funny in terms of like, I don't know if they're the most flattering pant on me. I don't know if these were meant to be like low rise or mid rise. They are like super long. I can put the camera down so you can see. They're like definitely dragging on the ground and I'm like 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, I do like them though. Like I think, I feel like they're super comfortable but they're super cute at the same time. You also could be looking like you're wearing pajamas though. So, you know there's like satin pajamas. It kind of gives that vibe but I really like them. I think they're really cute. I just don't know if I'm obsessed with them on me. These were, I did get these in a size 14. These are 65 retail, but they want the discount. They went to 48.75. I do think it is worth that price. Like I would pay $50 for the quality of these. They feel really nice. Let's try on the next items. Okay, next we have these shorts so i've seen heaps lately obviously people wearing like slightly longer shorts there's also the ones that go up to your knees which are the jorts not sure if they're my vibe not something i don't think i could really pull off i do find this length though really flattering i think this comes up to like the skinnier part of my thigh so it comes at like a really flattering length and i do like the whole cargo vibe these ones have a lot of gapping behind here though so i would have bought these in a 14 or an extra large whatever it was and like they fit besides this like massive gapping up like i don't know i just feel like it's really gappy back here i don't think it's a huge issue because they're kind of like snug on my bum so it doesn't feel like they're gonna fall down or anything the actual quality of the denim of these ones feels really good though like denim is what they feel like these ones are in a size 14 and they were 70 if you got them full price i got them for 52.50 i think 
$50 for this is actually like a pretty good price. I do feel really nice quality actually. But let's get on to the next item. If you are wondering where my cute as hell dressing gown is from, it is also from the Audi. They do dressing gowns as well. It's not as big of a range as like their classic Audi, but literally so cute. It is Winnie the Pooh. How could I not? How could I not? This was in the biggest size they had. It's really giving like oversized, but I love it. Like I love a big big oversized dressing gown and it's got like the cuff sleeves so it's not like annoyingly long on my arms it's still like a really soft material it's not the same as the Audis, but it's still like a really soft like fluffy feeling fabric literally so cute like hello hello look at it so cute but next item we have this play suit that was not coming to my brain just then. We have this play suit. And tell me why everyone else I see wear this looks so good and I look like a sack. Please tell me because I don't think this is giving. I've seen so many people wear this and they look effortlessly cute vibes. I don't look like that. I just feel like this does genuinely nothing for me. I am just like, unless I'm like posed, it's not giving. The material is that like linen-y feeling. What is this? material because it's not quite like it's not like a soft linen it's like I don't know I'm just not a massive fan of this one I think like on some people this looks really good I'm just not that person and I don't know I just don't think it's worth it for me because how much was this like even the model looks so good wearing it and I don't look like that so I did get this in a size 14 I do think it's true to size like it does I wouldn't want to size down I think it would be like fitting a bit Funny. And then this is $68 because I obviously had the discount it was 51 I don't think at full price it is worth $68. Just in terms of like material and stuff, if the material felt maybe a little bit nicer, I would say it's worth it. But I'm not super obsessed with this one. So this one is a no from me. Okay, next we have this dress. I have seen so many people wear this dress. A popular little style. Tell me why I'm not super obsessed with it on me. I don't know what it is. I always feel like as well, I don't know what it is. It feels so short, but I also am like looking in the mirror. I'm like, it does cover everything though. And it does, it is a bit longer at the back, which I do love and appreciate because I hate when it's all the same length. And obviously like back there needs more material. Anyway. <laughs> I just feel like this is not looking the same on me again. Look, maybe I'm being a bit silly because I actually am looking at it and it's not that bad. I'm feeling very indecisive about this one. I think this could either look cute or it could look like you're wearing a dressing, what is it? A nighty? No. A nighty, yeah. I think that's the right word. I really don't know. I just think like it could look like that. I don't know. Really cute for like summer, beach. This, I need to like straighten the, what did I just say? I need to tighten the straps because I feel like this is not fitting me properly. And I got this in a 14. I'm pretty sure, again, like generally we get most things in a 14. I don't know what it is. I feel like I can't really tighten this anymore without it ruining the actual shape and look of the top. But I also am like, if I tighten this, yeah, maybe if I tighten this, it would sit nicer. Like I do feel like if I leant over, you would see not what you asked for. I just, I'm not sure. But when I see other people wear it, I really like it on them. Hence why I bought it. But I don't know how I'm feeling. I do still feel like, oh God, the price of this one or like without discount, $75. I don't agree with that. I don't think it's worth $75. With my discount, it was $56. 25. I think that price is more justifiable to me. I do think like I'd be happy to pay that, but 75 is definitely pushing it. I don't think it's worth that. I think like material wise and stuff like this is quite thin. It's not, like, there's not that much going on. I don't think it needs to be priced at $75, but with the discount, 55 or whatever I would pay for this. 75 is a bit of a reach. So do with that information what you will. So on to the next item. All right. Next items are these two. Get her off. I love this jumper. I think. Don't know what I paid for it, but I do think it would have been worth the price. Feels very like thick, heavy, nice material. It looks so good. I really like this. I think the color of this is really nice. I don't know if it's coming up the same on camera as it does in person. I just think like I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this. Yeah, she's cute. I really, really like this actually. How much was it? It was $70. 
But then with the discount, $52.50. I think for $50, this is really good. Like, generally, the quality on this one is really nice. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. And I think I'm going to wear it a lot in winter because it's, like, dressy but still super duper comfortable at the same time. Some people probably wouldn't call this dressy um, now that I think about it. But, <laughs> like, I don't know. If you're going out somewhere but you don't want to be like, I don't know. Like, this is probably dressy for me, to be honest. Then... We have, I think these have been posted on TikTok because I have actually tried to buy them before and I think they might have been sold out of my size. These are cute little skirts. So obviously we've got a skirt at the front and then we've got shorts at the back. This is giving, I swear we had this in primary school. I swear we had like the skirt and the shorts and that's what it's giving. I feel like this used to be popular when I was like a child. They're back in fashion. I do love these because I'm not a huge fan of wearing, I could not wear this in a skirt at this length normally. I would need to have shorts. So I do actually really like the style. I do get a bit like it does look funny that I'm wearing a skirt and then shorts. Like does that look funny? I don't know. But they fit really well actually. A little bit of gapping at the back but they are quite tight on my bum. Again quite similar to the other shorts actually. Same sort of vibe. I don't feel like they're going to fall down or anything and they're tight this way but a little bit gappy at the back but it's not bad like I don't think it wouldn't annoy me too much I still feel really comfortable so these are $75 then I obviously got it discounted so $56.25 the quality of these are good I do think it's worth the price because the quality is really nice there's like generally nothing wrong with it they feel like thick the, the zip feels really nice all of that like quality wise love i'm just not sure how much i would actually wear these but yeah let's try on the next item all right you may have already guessed it is another pair of shorts these are quite similar to the other ones that i tried and i bought both of them to see which ones i'd like these are definitely giving jorts i don't think these are for me i really don't one these shorts i don't know why these are so different to the other ones but the others that have bought everything in a 14 these are so gappy like the other ones were a little bit times that they are not like i can't they're just not it they're just way too gappy. I can't. Oh, oh, wait. That would be why. These have a. Oh, that's actually really smart. <laughs> these have a button. So it was on the loosest one. I was like, why are these so gappy? They have a button. So it was on this button. I'm just going to pop it over. Does it have it on this side? Oh, this is so smart. Wow, that's really smart. I haven't seen that before. Yeah, they fit now. <laughs> I really like them. They do like kind of the material kind of bunches a little bit there. I don't think it matters too much with these type of shorts though. Like I just don't think you'll really look at that. I don't think I can do them though. I just don't think the style is for me. Some people wear these. I think they look cool. I do. I think they look so cool. I just don't think I can pull these off. These do feel really nice quality. Same vibe as the other shorts. And now that I know that it's got that adjustable thing at the back, I really love that. If you like this style, I did see someone wear these and they looked so good. They were doing that whole dad vibe though. I just think they could pull it off. I don't think I can. Let's check how much these were. So these were 60 and then with the discount were 45. 100% worth it for 45. I think like, I don't know why the other ones are five, uh, $10 more because they're pretty much like the same pair of shorts. These ones are just longer. So I'm not sure why they priced it like that. Maybe, I, I don't really know. I'm trying to justify it, but I have no idea. There might be some of you out there that really like these and I think they are really nice quality. And if again, if you can get it discounted, I think it's worth the price. I probably would pay full price at $60 for these two because the quality is really good. If they are your vibe, I would get these. And I think I just love the adjustable strap. Last, but certainly not least, we have this play suit. I love the style of this. I love the like corset detailing here. I think it's really, really flattering, especially if you have a similar body type to mine. It really like shapes you where you want to be shaped. Like I just think it's so flattering. And then it's like baggier over your stomach, which if you are like me, you will love and appreciate that. The only thing with this, I love the style of this. I think it's honestly so freaking cute. I just feel like it's a bit bulgy or baggy back here. I don't know how to just, it's like because it's so tight here then there's all this material that's like here. 
I just think there's too much here. I don't know what it is. And I don't think I could have sized down because like this is tight. It gets on, but it is tight. So I don't think I could really size down. I just think it's almost like a bit of excess material at the back there. That is the only thing that's kind of annoying. But I think this is so flattering. Like it just comes at the right spot. Like it just smooths over everything, you know? And with the other dress, it was like fitting kind of strangely around this area. This fits really nicely like I don't feel like you're not gonna see anything I think I will take this away with me just if I want to like look cute this cost $70 but with the discount 52 I think for $52 it's so worth it like $50 and this is like the fit I think is really worth it I don't know if I could justify $70 for me personally I just think like it's like a tad bit too much maybe 60 but 70 is just kind of pushing the limit but I really like this <laughs> I do actually think you get a lot of wear out of this because I do really think like you could wear it to definitely different occasions as well so that is the end of this haul hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you found it insightful you can also again use my code chelsea carlo 35 for 35 dollars off the audience website which is amazing and i'll leave everything in the description below from everything i tried on with sizes and everything like that as well and i'll see you guys in my next video bye